Throughout this course, we've discussed strategies that will help you set your team up for success as they leave the office and take their work home with them. There are many benefits to having your team work remotely. It may even be the one factor that will keep your organization in business. Research shows that employees are often more productive when they work remotely. Given the potential benefits, it's still important for you to be mindful about helping your staff maintain a work-life balance. Here are some suggestions that should help. First, you want to take some time to learn about the challenges that your staff may have while working from home. Some of your team members may be in a situation where they have roommates or maybe even other family members present who are also trying to work remotely. By discussing these challenges, you will be better equipped to help them remove any obstacles. Once you have a better understanding of the logistical dynamics at play, think about ways that you can support your staff in delivering against your expectations. For example, you may need to be creative and flexible to ensure that all staff can participate in important meetings. Another way to help promote a work-life balance is to thoroughly consider how the work schedule affects an employee's work and personal time. For example, if there is something that you'd like to share with your team that can wait until the next business day, consider waiting or use an email rather than instant messenger. Another excellent tool that is widely used for remote and on-premises workers alike is a shared calendar. Create and update a shared calendar that contains the work schedule for all of your employees. This way, other team members will be less likely to interrupt someone during their day off or after hours. An additional idea that will boost morale and help your employees focus on work during their hours of the work week is to encourage personal interactions between your team members. This will help your team feel unified as if they are working together in the office. Encourage them to call each other. They can also use group chat and virtual meetings. Suggest that they leverage collaborative resources and continue to cultivate strong working relationships during the workday. Take some time to brainstorm what is working well for your team and what could be improved for them regarding their work-life balance. By simply engaging your staff in a discussion about how they are maintaining their work-life balance, you will show them that you care, and this will really go a long way. If some of your employees are struggling to get their work accomplished during their typical work hours, spend some time discussing the logistics. It's also possible that they may need some additional training on the software or other technology you are using. They also may be feeling overloaded with work, and you may be able to help them reprioritize how they spend their time. We have now concluded our course on managing remote workers. If you use many of the suggestions we've given you today, you will certainly have a positive impact on your team and your organization.